At Alpha, we focus on making complex technology really easy. So we want our developers to focus on building great apps and not the underlying technology. I'm Bob Moore, VP of Mobile Development at Alpha Software. And today I want to talk to you about what I've done with PhoneGap and with the integration of PhoneGap Build directly into the Alpha IDE. PhoneGap allows you to get to the native functionality of the device. So if you have an application you're building and you want to uh, access the camera, or maybe you want to record audio or video, uh, maybe you need to access a barcode scanner, you can do that and a lot more with PhoneGap. Now, one of the problems that uh, has always been there with PhoneGap was, well, how do I create these native applications? So typically to build an iOS application, you'd have to use Xcode and uh, for Android, you'd need to use the Android SDK. Of course, if you're developing iOS, you, you'd need to have a Mac also. This has been a problem for HTML5 developers. So Adobe understood this problem. Adobe acquired PhoneGap a couple of years ago and they built a cloud-based service called PhoneGap Build. Now, fortunately for Alpha, Adobe included a PhoneGap Build API, which we were able to use and incorporate directly into the product. So that means you can build the application right within Alpha Anywhere. You can check off you know, all the different features you need and what plugins you need and so on. We generate all the code for you. Ultimately, that will upload to the PhoneGap Build service which will build the applications for all the different platforms that you want. And what comes back to you will be a QR code that allow you to install the application on your device for testing among all the different people you'd like to test with. Next, I'd like to show you an application that's built with Alpha Anywhere. And we're going to go ahead and uh, we'll take a look at that. And then we will upload it to the PhoneGap build service. It will build the app for us. We're going to install it on uh, an iPhone 5, and then we'll take a look at it running. So here we are within Alpha Anywhere. We're within the IDE, and we've opened up a UX component uh, that I've designed that's going to be the basis of our PhoneGap application. Uh, we're going to be able to access a bunch of native functionality. Uh, we're going to be able to scan in a barcode on a book and then submit the results of that scan to the iTunes search API. Uh, it'll look it up and bring that info up in this page here in this panel. And we've also got a help panel and we've got a button in here that will bring up the in-app browser uh, and go off to, uh, to Alpha's website. So let's see how we would go about doing that. Here's our UX component. I'm going to go ahead and just close that on out. Now we're going to bring up the PhoneGap app builder. We're going to create a, a brand new uh, project. I'm going to plug in my uh, credentials. These are my credentials to PhoneGap build. I'm going to say I want to build an Android and an iOS application. I'm going to pick my uh, initial UX component, which is the one we just took a look at. Um, in this case, I don't make any callbacks to a server because I'm calling Apple's uh, service directly, so um, I don't need to worry about that. I do have an additional file. I used a background image. I'm going to go ahead and bring that in. And uh, and then from here, I'm going to say, yeah, I want to generate an app icon. And here I've got to go out and uh, pick that icon. So let me do that quickly. So this is the uh, icon that's going to appear on the home screen. And we're going to go ahead and resize it so that it's um, you know, it works for all the different devices. I'm going to skip on the splash screens. We'll just use the default. I won't change any of the defaults here. I will change the version of PhoneGap, so we'll go to 3.3.0. And now I've got to enable some features. So if on the Android device, uh, the barcode scanner is going to use the camera. Uh, we're also using the notification features. And here I need to uh, define the plugins that I'm going to use. So in this case, I'm using the device plugin. I'm also using the uh, in-app browser plugin here. I'm using the notification plugin. I'm using the vibration plugin. Those are the core plugins from PhoneGap. And then on my third-party plugins, I'm going to go ahead and use the barcode scanner, and I'm using the flashlight plugin too. So let's go down and find that. So let's see, where is it here? Oh, here it is. So let's go ahead and click that. We're all set now. I'm going to go ahead and save and upload to PhoneGap Build. It will create the application for us. It's going to generate the app icons, 
It's verifying that we have an account on PhoneGap Build, and it's now uploading that uh, app to PhoneGap Build to the PhoneGap Build service. Uh, when it's done, it's going to bring up the PhoneGap app manager, and then it's going to show us the. Uh, we're going to be able to uh, scan in a, a QR code and uh, install the app on our phone. And here we see right now that our application builds are pending. So our Android build is pending and our uh, iOS build is pending. When they're done, these will uh, switch to complete and then we can scan in the uh, QR code. I'm going to go ahead and bring up my uh, iPhone so we can actually see this thing happening. So let's just put that over here for right now. We see our iOS build is complete. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, we'll generate the QR code and we'll scan that in. So here we can see us scanning that in. I'm now going to say, yep, I want to install it. And here we see the app coming in. OK, so we're going to take a look at this application now installed on my iPhone 5. So I'm going to tap on the app icon, and uh, up it comes. So one of the things that's interesting about this app is that we're going to call up the barcode scanner. So we're going to do that here. And we're going to scan in a barcode that's on a book. Let me get that into focus. And what it did there was it scanned in the barcode, um, sent the uh, ISBN to uh, the Apple, uh, the iTunes search API, found the book, and then it brought up all of the, the details about the book. And the thing that's neat about this is all this formatting is done with our new HTML templating. So this came back as JSON data, and then everything else you see on here is just uh, handled through uh, a template. And the thing that's neat about this is if you tap on that button, you can view it in iTunes. So you can actually see all of the data about that book in iTunes, and you could choose to buy it right here. Now I'm going to tap and go back into the application. Notice it didn't lose state. I'm going to go back to the uh, home page here. I'm going to call up the help. And this is just help about the application that I built in HTML5. And this uses the in-app browser. So when I tap on the alpha software button, it brings up the alpha software website. And then I'm going to click on done. And notice that it just um, folds back down and then I'm, I'm back in the app. So I didn't go out to Safari. I didn't lose um, my place in the application. And we'll just look at some of the other just quick functionality that's in here. So I've got the flashlight enabled. So when I tap on that, you can see the light comes on in the background there. Um, we'll bring up a native beep. So here it's just an audio beep. I can force the vibration to come on. I can bring up a native alert box. This looks a little different than a JavaScript alert, as you'll notice here in the callback. That is a JavaScript alert. So they just look differently. And these are all native controls. Here's a native confirmation box. Oh, I won 100 shares of Apple. The thing that's cool about this, if you bring it up on an Android device, you'll win 100 shares of Google. I really should have brought it up on a... Um, on a um, Android device. And there's a native uh, prompt, so you could uh, enter in, a, say, a username or something like that and, uh, and click OK. And you'll notice up top there it is. So you've got access to native controls, the barcode scanner, here the flashlight, and native notifications. So uh, that's what we've built into the sample application. And we give you all the source code for this application so you can study it and see exactly what's going on. So what we've done is, made it really, really simple to build these native PhoneGap applications directly within Alpha Anywhere. This is a big deal. It opens up a big market for a lot of people.